Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here, owner of Automation Links. So today I wanna to talk about anxiety. And if you own a business, running a business, starting a business, you have probably dealt with this at some point. And if you haven't yet, it may come up in the future. I never experienced it. I ran a couple businesses um, before Automation Links, never experienced anxiety, never thought I would. I thought I was tough, thought I had it until last summer. Last summer, I started getting extreme anxiety, worry, couldn't sleep at night. And if you felt this before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, for me, it was the first time ever feeling it. So it was pretty difficult to kind of figure out why it was happening. Uh, didn't know what I should do to fix it. And if you're still ex experiencing this, or if you ever do, I really hope this video helps you. And please share it with anyone that you know that goes through this. So what I did was I started getting more and more tasks piled on. So financing, finances that you think about, um, things that you have to do for yourself, for your own business, things you have to do for your clients, um, things you have to do for your family, it starts piling up and your days start getting overwhelming. Um, and also you start thinking about them as the day goes on, you start thinking about the things you have to do for the rest of the day, for the next day, for the week, for the month, all these plans, all these things. Now calendars are really helpful because you're able to put things in the calendar. But sometimes there's a lot of things you don't put in the calendar. So if you have something to go do later today, you're not going to throw that in the calendar. Um, if you have something to do for a client, you're probably not going to throw it in the calendar. Usually calendars are made for booking appointments or scheduling something. But if you start letting these things pile onto your mind, that's what where your mind takes over. So last summer, I started having things pile up in my mind. In my head, I had more and more and more duties that I had to um, do and take care of. And it was really overwhelming. And you know exactly um, how I felt. So I'm gonna tell you what I did and it actually worked and fixed it. So my nephew actually created a paper Dropbox. So you've heard of Dropbox before. Um, and if you're a client of Automation Links, you've dealt with our Dropbox before where we keep everything in one private folder. Um, but he created this paper document similar to Google Docs uh, where you can put Everything in is like a big piece of paper. Um, so when you go in here, you have a blank paper and you can start filling it out. So what I did was I took this, um, this form here and I started putting out tasks for the day. So let's say today is Wednesday, right? And then I would put the date. I think it's August, let's see what date it is. 21st. And now every single day is gonna be laid out like this. So. August 21st, 2019, right? So today I know exactly what I'm gonna do for today, but it has to be scheduled ahead of time. So schedule tomorrow, today. Schedule next week, this week, whatever works best for you. I do it daily because my schedule changes all the time. Um, so it, you might already have tried this. You might have already written things down or you might have a piece of paper or put it in your computer. But what actually helped is checking things off as I go down the list. So it's got this nice little checklist, to-do list here. So I'll say build a website for someone for blank, right? I'll say design an ebook for blank. I will say send an email to the team. Um, make, everything can go on this list. Every single task that you have for tomorrow and next week can go on this list. Make a social media post, about anxiety, right? So this was on my list. Yesterday, I put this on my list to make this video today. Um, let's see, uh, reach out to, don't forget to reach out to the person. Follow up on this email because it's important, right? Just naming things um, as you go. Uh, go, so today we're getting on a plane, going to the airport at 1 p.m. Make sure to pack sunglasses right so you want to have everything on this list if it's all listed out for tomorrow it's all on here you put your all the efforts into this so it's not on your mind so instead of staying up all night thinking about all the tasks you have for tomorrow it's all listed out for you it's taken care of then tomorrow you wake up and you just check them off as you go so today you just check them off all right i just did the website we designed the ebook i sent the email uh, social media posts, I reached out to this person, and let's say I didn't get to these three. Uh, obviously, the airport would be pretty important, so let's check off these. Um, let's say I didn't get to these three right here, right? 
throw them on to the next day. I always put the most important at the top. So let's take this. I can draw a line and now we're on to Thursday. So every day is going to be planned out, August 22nd. What's cool is when you go back and look at this, all the tasks that you've gotten done, um, you weren't worried about it, you weren't stressed, you got the most important things done at the top. So I could even move these up because these were the most important, right? Get rid of these. So I really want you guys to try this. Please just try this, see if it helps. Um, it's helped me out tremendously. And then you can just keep adding on and then you keep checking off all the things that you've accomplished. So put it in a task, put it on the computer so it's not on your mind, have it listed. And the most important part I think that's helped, have a check mark system. Check off everything you complete. Because when you wake up tomorrow or when you're going to bed tonight and you just see a big list, um, you know, that's not very helpful. You need to be able to check them off as you go. So it feels so much better when you get to the end of the day and you see that you've checked off most of your tasks. Um, and the ones you didn't, add them on to the next day if you have to. But I really want you guys to follow this. Reach out to me if you need any help. If you have any questions, I'll help you set this up free because um, I, I know how it feels. And I'll walk you through kind of what I did, just like I did in the video. Um, but just make sure you have a system like this. Do it the day before or the week before. It's different for everyone. Um, if you're scheduled, you can do it the week before. That's great. I have to do mine the day before every single day. Um, but it takes five minutes to do. Everything that's on my mind, I put in here, and then I don't forget about it. So thanks, guys, for watching this. Please share it with anyone that you know um, feels this way or is going through any anxiety. It's really helpful. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.